Coast Guard brig. Generally speaking, what we're doing today, the point of a closed guard break, so if, you're, if your opponent's legs are like this, right? Our goal is to make our body circumference so big that they can no longer keep their legs closed. There's too much pressure, they have to open their ankles. There's a couple different ways to close guard, this is just the way we're doing it today, okay? So, I'm inside gauge, closed guard. Number one, as with anything, striking, grappling, whatever, your posture must be secure, right? I'm sitting back on my butt, I'm looking to the horizon, right? I don't want to hook my head here because, yeah, exactly. You can bring me in, especially someone like with no gi, someone's got long arms, they can start grabbing the back of my head. From here, I like to have the heels of my palm right on his hip bone here. That makes it more difficult for him to sit up, right? Yeah. If I'm just like this, it's easy for him to sit up and attack me. If I'm here, he's got to fight through my hands. He's got to fight through my structure now, right? Not leaning too far forward, not leaning too far backwards. When I'm ready to attack, I'm going to dominate the grip. In this case, I'm going two on one. You don't have to, but you do have to freeze one side, okay? From here, I'm gonna take my right side, his left side, I'm gonna get two on one here, okay? After that, I'm gonna step my right foot up. Why am I stepping on my right leg? Why am I not stepping on my left leg? No way he can't like, uh, block you. He can't hook my leg, right? If I freeze the right side of my body and I go left, yeah, now I can start messing with my balance, right? So whatever, I don't care if you go right, I don't care if you go left. But whatever you shut down, in this case, my right, his left, I'm stepping that right foot up and I'm stepping it up high by like by his shoulder almost. Right? Nice perpendicular angle to the floor here. Now I'm gonna get up onto my left foot, but this is not what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna step up onto my left foot here because I just gave him that posture again. Okay? What I'm gonna do is I bet that's young you. Oh no, no, I was wrong. A thousand burpees, yeah, a thousand burpees, yeah. Alright, so again, I shut down the right side, I'm stepping my right foot up as, I don't want to say as high as I can, but perpendicular here. Now watch how I get up onto this left foot. Again, I don't step it up, I pivot onto it here. Now it's still far away from him and I've achieved my objective of standing up, right? The left side is going to grab his pants and push it to the ground until his legs open. From here, you can do whatever guard pass you want. Some of you guys are knee sliding. If you're not familiar with the, any guard passes, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna bring your right foot in the middle, take your left leg over, take your right leg over, and settle into side control here. Notice how I'm holding his grip the whole time, okay? Again, that's only if you don't know any other guard passes, okay? Let's go over that whole thing again. I'll go to this side this time. Here, grip fighting, I get two on one, okay? I've shut down the left side of his body, so my left foot is gonna step up nice and comfortable, here. Again, when I get up onto my right foot, I don't bring it up, I pivot onto it here. Grab the inside of his pants and slide that leg to the ground. As soon as his leg is open, left leg comes in, right leg comes over, left leg comes over, and I, dom I let go at the very end after my shoulder makes contact with his body. Any questions? Dave, you need to see? No. Okay. Good. You get that mask? We're coming in like 20 minutes late. It's, it's five minutes. It's 11 minutes. I clocked it three minutes fast. I was gonna call it eight minutes. All right, enough no, no, joking. We good? Yeah. All right, on three. One, two, three. Good. All right, guys, welcome back. We are in our beautiful new studio. Um, there's a lot of construction going on, so ignore the background. But the most important part is that Chris is on top, Nas is on the bottom. We're going over the closed, a standing closed guard break, the two on one break, as I like to call it. Here. Not too much resistance from Nas, we're just drilling these techniques, making sure there's no major error. I would like Chris's leg to be a little bit further back. I think uh, if Nas really tried to swing to his left and grab that leg, he'd be able to. Also consider that when you pivot up into that leg, onto that leg, I should say, it's not, you can't chill there for a long time. It's, I don't want to call it a stalling tactic, but it's going to give you enough time to hopefully access the pan the inside of the pants on your opponent's leg and break the guard. But if you stay there, your opponent eventually will make themselves perpendicular to you or square up with you and they'll be able to access both legs. If your legs are wide enough, they won't be able to do anything with it, but I'd rather not give them the chance. So again, I'd, I'd like to see Chris's leg a little bit further back. Gets that leg to the ground and good pass. Got Kirk on top and Khaled on the bottom here. Again, running that drill. Khaled gets a two-on-one. Again, doesn't have to be two-on-one. Just got to freeze your opponent's grip somehow. Let's go back and look at that. I don't like the way he stepped up that right leg. So he steps up the left foot. And then, so he, he comes up onto that. He pivots onto the foot correctly. 
steps to the left foot. Here he's good, but instead of leaving his foot here and flat to the floor, again, if here is way out of Kala's range. He's got to cover all that distance to get there. But instead of leaving it there, he brings it forward into a position where Kala could potentially attack here. Kala could probably access that ankle. I would argue that maybe Kirk's legs are too close together. He might get hit with that dummy sweep. Maybe not. But if your opponent is grabbing your ankle, it's probably going to be hard for you to break their guard. Step to back a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now he's good. Steps over. I like that to be one smooth motion where one leg comes over and then the other one comes over. Did a good job maintaining each grip. Yeah, exactly. You want to hold on to that. Make that. It's, it's almost like an X pass uh, towards the end. You want to hold that grip for as long as possible, making it hard for your opponent to recover the guard again not bad i'd like to see him keep that right leg a little bit further back next time got chris on the bottom here and nas on top here okay again we see the same mistake that uh that kirk made a second ago instead of pivoting onto that foot here look his toes are on the ground he should be standing up and his foot should be flat to the ground in this direction but instead of doing that boom he steps up and again he makes it easy. I'm pretty sure if Chris could just shift his body a little bit to the left, he'd probably be able to access Nas's leg from here. And then that makes your life just infinitely more difficult to break your opponent's guard. Then now he steps it back. But look, Chris, Chris got the leg. Obviously, Chris is letting him work. But if he wanted to hold on to that pant leg, he could have. Yeah. But Nas does do a good job of keep the arms crossed to secure side control at the end. Khaled on top here, Kirk on the bottom here, running the drill. Gets a two on one. Steps the right foot. I'd like to see that foot a little bit deeper because it's going to make you a little bit more stable when you pivot up out that back leg. But overall, not bad so far. Okay, that was a little bit weird. Let's He did like a pendulum step. So he, he gets up. He pivots onto that back leg, if you could see. He pivots up onto it and then... Okay, he just moved his right foot out a little bit more. That's actually not too bad. Kirk is going to have a fairly difficult time reaching all the way over to access that leg. That's not bad. He's solid here, here. He's got good posture. He's pretty much balanced in between his legs. Yep, not bad. Puts that leg down and hops over. I like to keep. I like to see him keep the grips a little bit longer. Um, I think he let go a little bit too early. Yeah, you can see he's probably already let go. Got Chris on the bottom and Nas on top again. Nas the one running the drill. Steps that left foot up. Brings his leg in again. And now he gets both legs caught. Let's look at that again. Steps that left foot up. Goes to plant on that right foot. But again, he's not really pivoting. He's just kind of lifting it. So that way, his tendency is to bring that leg forward. Yeah, now look. Chris is already starting to twist. He was here. Now he's twisting this way so he could access that leg. Boom. Easy. And now he's got both legs caught. So not only did he did he leave his right leg in a position to be caught, he also let go of the grip on his left arm. Let's rewind that real quick. Let's see if we can pinpoint this moment he loses the grip. Oh, no. It's a bad angle from here. But he does lose his grip. Yeah, look. He's not, he's not really putting any, any downward pressure on it because he's lost his base here. Chris has a... Uh, Two hands behind each knee. He can't sweep him from here, I would argue. If he was down at the ankles, he could probably sweep him. He can't sweep him from here. But now, Nas's job has become more difficult. Chris now has a solid connection to the opponent that's on top. And the solid connection means it's going to be harder for the guy on top to pass. Got Nas on the bottom here and Ernest on top here. Let's see how they go. Oh, this might be sparring, not necessarily drilling. Now he's doing a good job breaking his posture. So now would be a good time for Ernest to get a double. It might be a little bit too deep, but get a double hand grip on that collar. Uh, break that grip and then push it down to his stomach. Oh, uh, Nas goes for the scissor sweep. Almost gets it. Ernest doing a good job doing as uh, maintaining as good a posture as he can with Nas attacking that collar deep. 
I'm just going to be a little bit more efficient with this break too. Oh, I guess that's it. We got Chris on the bottom here and Kirk on top here. I believe this was a sparring round. So they're no longer letting each other work. This is pretty much 100% resistance. Or not pretty much. It is 100% resistance. So Kirk doing a good Okay. Doing a good job controlling the grips. I'd like to see him posture up a little bit higher. His upper body is pretty low to the ground. Okay, gets the guard open. Oh, a little bit unstable. Oh, okay. Chris needs to, when he goes for that dummy sweep, Chris, ne Chris needs to attack the ankles. Could he get that second ankle? Maybe. I don't think so. He'd be at the very edge of his fingertips. But Kirk's leg should also be a little bit further back to prevent that. Also, his posture should be up higher. I don't know if you could see that. Should be up higher in order to prevent Crispin from being able to establish his own good posture. Breaks the, oh, Kirk does a good job. Oh, let's look at that again. Kirk does a great job breaking the grips. And as soon as he breaks the grips, he goes to uh, uh, the closed guard break. So here, breaks the grips. Right hand on the... You see his right hand. Let me get my marker out. See his right hand go to his legs. Chris is barely holding on here. A second ago, he lost the closed guard. And right now, he's like holding on with his toes, as you can see. So it doesn't take much for Kirk. Oh, and another thing. Kirk is doing a very good job. Sorry, where's my marker? Kirk doing a very good job controlling that grip here. So as soon as he basically touches Chris's leg, boom, it opens. And now he's got a grip on the pan leg for the bull pass. Uh, maybe he'll get it. Now he gets it. Good job, Kirk. I, I'm telling him to flatten him out. Three points. Again, more sparring rounds. Ernest is on the top. Kirk is on the bottom here. So this is full resistance, I believe. Oh, yeah. It's told him to start. Gets a two-on-one, switches it to the other side. Oh, still struggling with the two-on-one. Kirk is doing something with his right hand. I think he was going for the leg. Okay, Ernest gets to a good standing position. Again, I don't like the way he stood up. Let's look at that again. Um, he could have been a little bit more efficient with the stand-up. Here, watch Ernest's right leg here. Just steps it up in the base. Boom, here. Long, he's relatively short compared to Kirk. He doesn't really have a good grip here. Kirk is easily going to break that and then attack that leg here oh he didn't even break it Ernest went to go back he did what he should have he went back to uh grab the inside of Kirk's pants to push it to the ground but like I said his leg need, needs to be further back he's I don't want to say he's in a deadly position here because of he is kind of limiting Kirk's posture here with his left arm let's see how this plays out Okay, Ernest is struggling to maintain his balance, but at the same time, he's got a very good grip on Kirk's pant leg. So it's a struggle to see who can break whose posture first. Okay, Ernest gets it down into a knee slide position. Okay, not bad. Let's see what we could have improved from both people's perspective. If I were Kirk... What would I do? I might want to try and shoulder back, shoulder walk back here to get uh, Ernest's posture down, giving him less, for lack of a better word, power slash pressure to push that leg to the floor. Um, could he dummy sweep Ernest backwards that way? Because he's kind of got access to both angles. I don't think so. I think Ernest's base is wide enough to prevent that. But... I wouldn't recommend Kirk stay here. Maybe transition grips to the upper body and then start, you know, start going to like collar sleeve uh, guard or like butterfly guard or something like that. Again, these guys are like zero strike white balls. They don't know all that yet. They basically know like closed guard and that's about it. Uh, what could have Ernest have done from here? Again, basic stuff. Keep that leg out of danger. Uh, also, if he could, I, the pan grip probably shifted, but if he could attack the inside of the leg, that would be a little bit better. Yeah, don't like how sacrifice his base is, but he does manage to make it work. Gets a half guard and he maybe passes from here if memory serves. Goes to switch the base. Should be using his other foot to get. Oh, maybe he's attacking the Kimura. Uh, maybe he gets it. Uh, I'm assuming he got it. <laughs> got 
got Khaled on top here and Nas on the bottom here. See how this plays out. And first, let me expand this. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Khaled trying to control that grip. Uh, looks like Khaled's going for the knee and the butt break. Oh, it gets it. Got it for a second. Looked like Nas was trying to go for a scissor sweep. Okay, Khaled might be able to break the guard from here. There we go. Almost sacrificed his base, but managed to get to a side into kind of a side control. If you could get chest to chest here. Nas bails to his right. Khaled's got a cross face from here. Uh, I don't see Nas blocking it, but again, Khaled should be cross facing Nas here. He missed an opportunity in his second ago. There we go. Now he's, oh, I don't know why he's lifting his chest up. Nas almost recovered the half guard there. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Okay, now he gets it. All right, we got Ernest on top here and Chris on the bottom here. Same thing, just doing the closed guard break. I believe they're full sparring. I don't know what they're doing right now. And Ernest has to address that hand on his collar. There we go. Now we can start stepping that right leg up. Okay. I don't like the way he stepped that left foot up. He should have pivoted onto it. Yeah, see? Now he's in danger of getting dummy swept. He's actually holding on to Chris. So it's preventing Chris from generating too much leverage. But look, at the same time, Ernest is not in a position to attack. Oh, now he's just giving him some pointers. There we go. All right, we got Chris on top, Ernest on the bottom. Not exactly a closed guard. I think I caught this in the middle of a round. Uh, Chris doing a good job fighting off the grip. Stands up in Ernest's guard. If he could pin that leg. Oh, no, he's got a butterfly hook in. Okay, from here, he's got to address that leg inside his guard. Um, if he continues to try and pass to his right, he might get swept. Oh, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> he did get swept, but let's see why. Okay, so you could see his left leg is caught here, and his right leg is in no position to be uh, in a based position because Ernest has his leg almost like a, a pry bar or a closed bar, closed pry, crowbar, sorry, in between his legs. So this is the battle. If Chris can step over Ernest's leg here, he probably won't get tripped up. He might not have a guard pass, but he won't get tripped up. I believe Ernest kind of gets him in almost like a one leg modified scissor sweep right here. From here, we can see Chris is in no shape or form to use his left leg as a base. His right leg is also compromised in terms of going in this direction because Ernest's leg is in the way. If I were Chris, I would move out this way and abandon the position, you know, live to fight another day. But I think Chris continues on. And he gets swept. No shame in that. That's what being a white belt is all about. Got Khaled on top here and probably Kirk on the bottom here. Looks like he's already starting the guard pass. He's got his right leg caught. His left leg is free, but also in the middle. Uh, interesting to see where it goes from here. Oh, Kirk does a great job breaking down Khaled's base there. Let's go of it. Goes back to attacking the upper body. Going for like an armbar or triangle or something. Kirk just backs out and passes around the <laughs> Not bad. Uh, Kirk does a good job breaking down Khaled's base here. The only reason he got his guard pass is because he threw up a, an offense. Again, not bad. We got Khaled on top and Ernest on the bottom here. Again, this is, an, uh, spar this is sparring now. No longer drilling. Khaled gets to an upright position. Does a pretty good. Uh, he's in a pretty good position here. He's also got socks on the mat, so he's sliding all over the place. Uh, I don't think he broke the guard so much as Ernest let go of it. Not that I'm complaining. Here. He's generating pretty good pressure. Oh, never mind. Let's go with that. Gets back. Yeah, Ernest kind of lets go of the guard to try and work a collar and sleeve. Again, not bad. I, I wouldn't count that as... Uh, it's definitely a guard pass. I wouldn't count that as breaking the guard. But it's in a match. Take what you can get. A Kirk on top here. Nas on the bottom here. Again, this is the middle of a sparring match. Kirk trying to pass the guard. Nas trying to sweep or submit. 
Oh, gets hit with the Kimura Sweep. That's pretty clean. Naz on top and Kalit on the bottom here. Again, sparring. Naz doing a good job controlling the grips, keeping Kalit's grips off of him and establishing his own. Going one on one. He's doing a very good job controlling the grips. See if he could, if he's gonna use the standing pass. Oh, okay, good. Uh, he 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 moved his legs a little bit too close together. But the reason I'm not mad is because he was controlling Khaled's grip so well. Khaled didn't wouldn't have been able to attack his legs anyway. So he steps uh steps a right foot up. So now he should be pivoting onto that left foot. But again, out of habit, he pivots and then slides it forward. We saw him do that all practice, but now it's become a habit. So he's definitely got to break that habit. Also, at, because he slid it forward, look how much Khaled's body followed him. He, Khaled's body pretty much starts on this plane. By the time he's done, he's, he's almost 90 degrees to where he started. You don't want that to happen. You want your opponent to stay in the same spot. So boom. As he pivots this leg up, he should keep it here. Actually, he sh it should be a little bit further back, to be honest. But it definitely shouldn't be sliding forward. Watch how he slides his left foot forward. Boom. Here. And now look where Khaled ends up. He ends up still square to Nas. We don't want our opponent square to us. Again, we want to break his posture. But the reason I'm not mad is because look how bad he's dominating, or good from his perspective. He's dominating Khaled's grips. Khaled can't do anything from here in terms of upper body. His guard is broken. It looks like Khaled is trying to go for a desperate arm lock or something. Maybe an alma plata. And he gets his guard passed. Got Kirk on the bottom here and Chris on top. Not exactly the closed guard, but it was in the middle of a sparring round. See how Chris tries to pass. He's trying that knee slide, but he's got to clear that leg. He's got to clear that leg first. He's got to clear Kirk's right leg first. Yeah, he's being his, his grips are being controlled again. He's not controlling Kirk's grips. Kirk is controlling him. So his posture is all over the place, and he can't seem to pin a leg because he can't. Number one thing, he's got to get his grips back. Oh, Kirk, very good. Oh, he should have went for it. He's got to lift his hips up. So now Chris has pretty decent posture. If he could get to a leg. Preferably on the right side. Oh, now he's going to switch. Now he's going to switch to his left side. There we go. Start pushing that to the ground. There we go. Now step over it. And try. Oh. Messed up. Oh, but he still managed to end up on top. And his high control somehow. <laughs> Chris on top. Khaled on bottom. Oh, Khaled. Ill-advised triangle. I have no idea. Let's go back and look at that garbage. Here. Hips are dead. Doesn't clear an arm. Yeah. Boom. Doesn't elevate his hips. Doesn't clear. Look at that. Doesn't clear. He just kind of throws his heel. I'm surprised. Good thing Chris blocked that uh, that leg. Or else he would have gotten kicked in the face. I'm assuming this ends up in a guard pass. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful knee slide. So this was on one of the nights that we ran Nogi. Ernest is on top. Nate is on the bottom. Still working the same technique. Nothing changes gi or Nogi. Ernest pivots that foot up. Oh, this was drilling, by the way. So this isn't sparring anymore. Just a little bit of resistance from the person on the bottom. That was textbook. Mike is on top. Eric is on the bottom. Uh, looks like Eric's closed guard is already open. The Mike's just going to stand up, establish a grip on the knee. Probably going to pass from here. Hops over. Dominates his little brother. Got Gabe on top and Bob on the bottom. Gabe doing a good job getting that two-on-one. Got his leg caught, though. I think I'm giving him some advice here. Oh, Bob doing a very good job. Look, look, look at what, there's something interesting here. Bob grabbed his own collar after looping Gabe's leg. There's no way that Gabe is going to be able to do anything with, with that leg until he deals with this. Interesting. Oh, they reset for some reason. Oh, I told them to reset. I meant reset as in... Don't go for that guard, like move on, like break the grip first. But I think they misunderstood me as reset to the position. He steps that right foot up, steps that left leg out. That's going to be hard for Bob to get. Just, yep, guard's already broken. He's probably going to push that to the ground. Pins it to the ground and walks into side control. Good job. Got Khaled on top and Gabe on the bottom here believe they're sparring now Gabe trying to control the posture with a double collar grip here Khaled's got to break yeah there we go he breaks one grip pins it to his stomach 
Now I can step that right foot up. Pivots onto the left. There we go. Don't and he's not letting Gabe get square. Gabe is also making a mistake of holding onto that collar too. He's definitely got to start transitioning to a different grip here because holding that collar is not going to prevent your guard uh, your guard from being passed here. And it's just an easy pass from there. Or maybe this wasn't sparring. This might Nas on top and Ernest on the bottom running the same drill or sparring. I, I can't tell which one. Nas recognizes danger, goes back to his knees. Yeah, this looks like drilling. They're not. It, Ernest isn't resisting too hard. Here, pins the leg, or pins the arm, I mean. Steps a, now, now let's see if he slides his left foot again. Boom, pivots out. No, that was good. That was textbook. That's what I'm looking for. As soon as you pivot, you generate that power. Uh, power? Yeah, I'll call it power. To break your opponent's closed guard. Ernest on top here. Khaled on the bottom here. I believe they're resisting 100% now. Like it's sparring. Ernest doing a good job dominating the grips. Kind of. Well, Khaled almost got him there. Oh, he just broke Khaled's guard. Now he's going to stand up. Got if I were, Yeah, I was just about to say that. I would establish a grip on his pants. Khaled almost gets a backdoor sweep there. So now Ernest should be... Okay. If possible, if you're passing to the right... Generally speaking, in the gi, you want to grab the inside of your opponent's pants. That's not always going to be an ironclad rule. However, if Ernest is passing this way, it's going to be really hard to generate any postural strength with his grip on the outside. If your hand is on the outside of your opponent's leg, generally speaking, you're much stronger. Uh, let me see if I have the terminology correct. You're stronger adducting than you are abducting. 90% sure I got that wrong, but basically it's easier to move your the palm of your hand. It's easier to, to slap someone this way than it is to generate a backhanding power away from your body this way. That's all I'm trying to say. Think of how much you can uh, peck deck, peck fly as opposed to lateral raise going in the opposite direction. I'm doing a horrible job explaining this, but hopefully you guys got, got what I'm trying to say. So uh, let's see how Ernest continues on with this pass. If I were earnest, I would just go to the left. Oh, I have no idea what's going on right now.